Hi everybody, it's Mio here and today I'm going to show you how to make this really adorable little lion who sits on top of a cute little camera. This is a needle felt project and as you can see here it's super tiny, it's not exactly scaled to size but I love that it's so small it fits in your hand. This adorable little project is created from a little kit that Handcrafter created. It has all the materials you need to create this adorable little lion and camera. And of course, in this video, I'm going to show you how to recreate this project using his kit. I know needle felt can be hard to come by, so I will be doing another giveaway. I will be giving away this kit that can create this little adorable character. And I'm not giving away one, but I'm actually giving away two. So I'll have two winners for this giveaway. This giveaway will be a little bit different. I will be selecting winners from Instagram, so stay tuned to the very end to see how you can apply. And of course, for more videos like these, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And do check out my Instagram. My username is FlyingMeo. And I know some of you guys applied to my previous giveaway. I will be announcing the winners in this video at the very end. So the people who applied to the adorable little sheep that I was giving away for Chinese New Year's, I will be announcing the two winners at the end. So stay tuned. So this is the kit that's sent to me by Handcrafter. As you can see, it has a picture of the project at the front, and in the back, you can see all the materials that are inside. This kit mostly contains all of the wool that you will need for the project, but you will need a foam board or a sponge and a felting needle. So if you don't have those, you can purchase them on the website. I'll provide the information in the down bar. This kit comes with instructions, and if you look very closely, it's all in Chinese, but there's a lot of pictures so that you know exactly what's going on. But for my viewers who are going to win the giveaway, I will actually be sending you guys a copy of the instructions in English. So if you have a hard time following this video, you can definitely look at the instructions in English. But overall, it's a very easy project to create. For this project, I'm going to be using a foam board, but if you want to use a kitchen sponge, that's absolutely fine. And this is the felting needle I'm using. It is not a regular needle, it is a felting needle. So for those who are beginners, do be sure you buy an actual felting needle. And you can get them at your local craft store or at Handcrafter's shop. So I'm going to start off by taking the gray roll and I'm going to roll it into a large bundle. And I'm just going to take my needle and poke this into what looks like a rectangle. For my viewers who are new to needle felting, all you have to do is poke your needle down several times and just do this very carefully so you don't poke yourself. And the more times you poke the wool, the more cross links it will form and the smaller and more solid your object will become. It's a very forgiving process, you just need a lot of patience and just poke away. To give you guys a reference range, this took me about maybe two hours to complete the entire project. You just have to be really patient and I'm a total perfectionist so I like to make sure everything is in place. So after molding my object for several minutes, I formed what looks like a rectangle and I'm going to cover the bottom part of the rectangle with some black felting wool. No glue is required. Just needle felt this down and leave a small gap at the very bottom where you can still see the bottom gray part. So this is what the camera looks like so far. For some added detail, Handcrafter took some white wool and they just lined the very top and with your felting needle just felt this down. Now for extra precision, you should go slowly. And as you can see here, I'm taking the needle and I can actually drag the wool to where I want it. So after you line the top part of the black strip that goes across your camera, you're going to form the lens. So take some more gray wool and you're going to roll this into a coin. This coin is going to be about the diameter of a nickel when you're done needle felting it. So this is what the lens look like in proportion to the rest of the camera. I'm going to take some black wool and I'm going to cover it around the side of the camera and just needle felt this into a thin strip right down the center. I highly recommend going much slower on objects that are tinier, that way you don't risk poking your fingers on accident. So once you're happy with the lens, you can needle felt the lens onto the body of your camera. Just make sure it's nice and centered. To give your lens some extra dimension and details, you're going to take some black wool and you're going to needle felt this into the center and you're going to line the black part with a white strip of wool and be sure that when you're done needle felting it, you can still see the gray rim of your lens needle felt a white rectangle on top of your lens to form the flash, a black box on the side of the flash and that will be I guess your settings for the camera and a black strip on the other side for some extra camera details. To take pictures your camera is going to need a clicker so needle felt a small little ball on the top of your camera. 
So this is what my miniature camera looks like so far. I'm now going to move on to the lion and you're gonna needle felt the lion on top. So for the lion, you need to create the head first. So I just took some orange felting wool and needle felt this into a ball. And it's going to be about the size of a quarter or so. And with the rest of your wool, you're going to roll really small little cigars and needle felt four legs and a tail. You're also going to need two small little flat discs that are going to be the little ears of your little lion. Now this kit comes with a little pattern page so that you can make sure everything is made to scale just the way Handcrafter did. And out of all the pages and instructions, I think that was the most important one. So I'm gonna go ahead and needle felt the ears onto the head. I just placed them on so they look kind of like teddy bears. And I went ahead and took the darker wool and I needle felted a nose. I kind of made the tip a little bit pointy so it kind of looks like a triangle. And I also rolled some wool in between my fingers so it forms a long, thin string. And this will form the little mouth of my lion. Just be very gentle and careful to needle felt a cute little smile. I'd say the smaller your face is, the more nice your lion will look. Now I took my needle and poked two little holes where I think the eyes belong. And this kit comes with two little plastic animal eyes for you to insert them into your hole. When you're happy with the placement, you can add some glue to the back and glue them on permanently. I decided I wanted to give my lion some blushing cheeks, so I took some pink eyeshadow and gently dabbed it right underneath the eyes where the cheeks belong, and I just rubbed off the excess so it gives my lion a little bit more color. Now instead of needle felting the entire lion together, you just actually needle felt parts of the body onto the camera. So I start by putting the two legs in front of the camera and you want them to dangle on top. And then you needle felt the body and you want the butt to stick out a little bit because you're actually going to needle felt the two tiny little legs onto the butt. Be sure to position the head a little bit towards the front of the camera and that it's nice and centered. And it might not look right right now because the line doesn't have its mane, but don't worry, once we add its mane, it will look super cute. And be sure to needle felt the legs and the back, and of course, its adorable little tail. So you're almost done with your project here. All you have to do is get the mane. So with the remaining wool that is the orangish color, you're going to rip this into small little strips and you're going to take each strip, bend it in half, and you're gonna just gently needle felt it all around the head. Make sure you get the mane in front of the ears, behind the ears, and every little crevice covering the entire head. I have to say this is actually the funnest part of the entire project for me because you don't really have to be very careful about this. You just need to cover the entire head. And once you're done, you actually get to give your lion a nice little haircut. So as you can see here, this mane gets really crazy and it gets larger than the camera, but don't worry about it. Just keep needle felting away. Once you're happy with the volume of the mane, which I would say this is a pretty voluminous mane for a lion, you're just gonna tease out the little felting wool out a little bit so it gives it even more volume. You don't want huge clumps or anything like that. And you're going to give your lion pretty much a haircut. I'm just taking some scissors and I'm just gently chipping off away pieces of hair and making it nice and round. I suggest you guys to form little small cuts instead of taking huge chunks out. You can actually fix this unlike real hair. If you cut off your hair, you would have to wait for it to grow back. You can just needle felt new hair down, but it just saves more time for you just to go slowly. So this is how short I cut the mane. I wanted to be able to see the ears, but if you want your mane to be fuller or larger, that's completely up to you. This kit also comes with a strap, so you can turn this into a cell phone strap if you want, but I wanted to just keep my line the way it is, and that's pretty much how I created this project. It's actually incredibly easy. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. For more videos like these, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I want to give a huge shout out to German, who is the owner of Handcrafter, for creating these really adorable kits and giving me an opportunity to share them with you. So with no further ado, the winners of the Lunar New Year giveaway are Emily, Chen, and T.R. Wallace. So please be sure to check your YouTube messages as I will be contacting you in the next few days to see how I can send you your adorable little sheep kit that Handcrafter has given me. 
And of course, for those of you guys who were unable to win this, you can still find this kit. Just check out Handcrafters website. I'll provide the link information below. Now for this contest, I will also be giving away two more kits. I'll be giving away these cute little lion and camera kits also made by Handcrafter. This giveaway will be a little bit different though. Since it features an adorable little camera, I thought it would be only fitting that this be an Instagram giveaway. But the rules to the giveaway are still very simple and easy to enter. So you must one, be 18 years or older. If you are younger than 18 years old, you must have parental permission. Two, you must subscribe and like this channel. Three, you must be a subscriber to my Instagram, which is Flying Neo. Four, I want you guys to share a photo with me on Instagram. You just put hashtag Flying Neo contest so I can find your photo. I really wanted to use this giveaway as an opportunity to get to know you guys a little bit better. So you can take a picture of any aspect of your life, whether it's a picture of a craft you created that you're really proud of, a personal picture of your friends and loved ones, a selfie, a typical day at work, a milestone or a bucket list goal, whatever it is, I would be so happy and honored to take a look. Just be sure to give me a quick description with the picture and put hashtag flying Neo contest so I know how to find it. This giveaway will end on March 20th and due to shipping costs, it's actually open to US participants at this time. Thanks for watching everyone. Good luck crafting and I will catch you guys soon. Bye.